Uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's totally different. Um, you know, we, we prepared well for it, but, you know, at the end of the day, we didn't get the job done. Uh, it's something that we always can look forward to and get next week. Uh, come out and everybody uh, get on the same page, you know, and go out here and win a game. So you said, uh, there was lack of complimentary football in all three phases. Were you guys kind of surprised at that? Uh, I mean, in game, in the game, we started seeing it. You know, we always got to be accountable for what we can uh, control, you know, uh, including each, 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 each individual person. And, you know, we all got to play better as a unit on, on all three sides of the ball, you know, uh, continue to get better and better. It's a long season, so we got to uh, put our foot down right now, you know, look at ourselves in the mirror, point the finger at ourselves and keep going. Having actually got a game in, you know, with the knees and everything, yeah. how would you assess how it felt and just, you know, your, your mindset and everything? Man, you know, uh, mindset going into it was way different than it is on the field. You know, uh, it's always a process, man. You know, uh, still fairly, still fairly new, um, being being clear all the way. So you know, uh, uh, I just got to continue and continue to uh, to get more load on it, and know I can play more 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 football. Did you feel like you were able to corner and you know? Um, man, I felt good in the first felt good in the first half. You know, um, but you know, it, it, it's still new, man. It's just part of the game. No, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna have bumps and bruises, but you gotta fight through it to be able to get to the uh, to the middle of the end of the season when when everything get crunch time. Well, you're obviously a you know veteran this league. You've been through a lot of great wins and tough losses. Yeah. And and although this is a new team for you, I guess what are your what's your message to the younger guys after you know the plating kind of loss? Oh no, tomorrow started over. You know, tomorrow's a new week. Uh, we go out tomorrow, come to practice tomorrow. Look ourselves in the eye, like I said. Look ourselves in the mirror. You know, we got to point the finger at ourselves. We didn't play as best as we should. Nobody played. Nobody played a good game, good enough to win. Uh, once we get a W, then we can sit back and relax. But you can't. You you you, you can't uh, take this as a as a as a, a deflated moment. It's always something to build on. Come back again. Do it over and over. You know, and that's part of football. Everyone goes through adversity. It's about how you come back after. You know, and control it. Yeah, you, you don't never, nobody never want to lose. Don't never let nobody tell you they want to lose. No matter the situation, no matter if it's, no matter if it's 21 to 20, you know, six to seven, you don't want to lose. That's just part of the football. It's just being a competitor. Nobody want to lose no matter what. It's always ways to find a way to win. So we got to find those ways to win, get back on track, you know, listen to the coaches, listen, trust our training, trust ourselves, trust our keys, and then we'll be all right. We already got the talent, we got the group. Now we got to put the work, keep continuing to put the work in and make it cohesive together. How much better do you need to do with capture, capture on kill and stress Yeah, man, the same type of ordeal. <clears throat> no, uh, both those guys are electrifying quarterbacks in the backfield. You know, we got two of those guys back to back. So now we got to go out and just let it go and uh, we learn from the mistakes that we had this week and then make sure we don't make the same mistakes next week. Man, uh, man, he's an athlete, man. You know, he does what he does. Um, it's very frustrating when you get close to him and can't and can't get him down. When he's making those cuts on a dime, you know, it's very frustrating. It's one of those reasons that he's a legendary player that he is, and he can keep his team team in the game like he did. Uh, you know, hats off to him. Um, we got to continue to work on that aspect of the game because you know we're going to face more guys like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. You know, uh, trusting, trusting myself, you know, trusting my knee. That's part of it. Uh, being able, being able to get in, get in game action of all those times that I missed, man. That's, it, was, it was great to go out there and see where I was at, see how it is, see how we can do next week, what I need to do uh, prehab and rehab wise coming coming forward in the next couple of games.